Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to use Google Developer Tools to, to troubleshoot and fix the, the CSS of a website. In other words, the, the style of a website. Uh, this is particularly for Joomla templates, but apply for any, any website out there. So, um, we've got a website here where the logo is a bit large uh, and it is causing the menu to appear a bit below here. And what we want to do is to see what it would look like if the logo was a bit smaller. So I press the F12 button in Google Chrome and then this box pops up uh, and it is called Developer Tools and enables me to, to check what is happening on the website. So I click here to select an element and I select the logo. It now tells us information about the logo over here. It tells me which CSS files are controlling the size and colors and, and so on for this particular item. Now let's add some custom code of our own. Width equals 250 pixels. And now we can see what the website will look like with a smaller logo and I can see how the menu fits in better. Now if I want to apply this I'll then need to edit one of the CSS files for the website and add in the code that the IMG JSON logo desktop will have width 250 pixels. Uh, and uh, now let's have a look at the menu here. So if we want to make some changes to the menu, I can select the, the menu title. And uh, it shows me here what font is used, uh, the size of it. Sometimes it can be a bit confusing because there can be many references to the, the same item in the CSS files. Then it can be handy to click on computed. And here you'll get the final summary of what is happening to this menu link. We can see it is actually in the, this grey colour. And by clicking on that arrow, it takes me to the spot where that colour is defined. And I can then click here to change the colour to perhaps a blue. And just see what it looks like. If I'm happy with that, then I can go to this CSS file uh, and change this line of code to reflect this new color. In the same way I can scroll down the website, I can look at other parts of the website, I can experiment with different sizes, see how it would, would fit, how it would work, and then I can place those codes into the website. So this is just a brief introduction to Google Chrome Developer Tools and how you can use it to inspect the CSS and, and make changes. Uh, for temporary viewing and then potentially go and make those changes to the website yourself. Mm -hmm.